Welcome, my kitty fam. The kitty, the kitty club out there. We're playing cats in modern. Uh, there's probably a lot of people that thought, oh, who's going to make the cat deck in modern? There's got to be a cat deck. We've got King of the Pride. It came out in Modern Horizons, but no one decided to step up to the plate. But Julian Cardona says, yes, let's try this thing. So we're going to try about cats today. Uh, our one drop is going to be Loam Lion, essentially like a Curd Ape. I don't know if this is the best we can do, but it, hopefully it's going to be fine. A one mana, one, one creature that gets plus two, plus one, plus two. As long as we have a forest in play. Some of the better lions, however, in this deck is going to be King of the Pride. Plus two, plus one to all other cats you control. That's pretty serious. And it's a 2-1 creature. So this Loam Lion all of a sudden becomes a 4-4 creature. Um, we get to play with Kahira. The, uh, we, get, we get to play with Kahira. Not only in the main deck, but also as a companion as well. Uh, now, one of the probably most surprising cards a card that we're going to surprise our opponent with is Kasali Ambusher because all we need is an opponent attacking us and we control a forest and a plains and we can cast Kasali Ambusher without paying its mana cost and ha uh, play it as though it had flash so randomly they'll play Raghavan attack and boom block it also has reach also has reach so if randomly if they're attacking with a spr sprite dragon it's dead now, there are some utility cards out there. There's like Felidar Cub, which I think is very useful. Uh, white, one generic, 2-2 two, two creature. We can attack with it up to a point and then destroy target enchantment. So, most importantly, Urza Saga. So, this is basically a two-mana creature that, at our discretion, eventually will blow up their Urza Saga. Same thing with Kasali Pride Mage, giving our creatures Exalted, turning the Loam Lion all of a sudden into a 3-4 creature when attacking. And we can also pay one, sack it, destroy target artifact or enchantment. Now, this originally was a, an Aether Vile deck, but it was acknowledged that it'd probably be bit, way better off as a Utopia Sprawl deck to ramp into Collected Company, to ramp into a Seeker's Chariot, which is like, isn't this a banned card in Pioneer or something? It was definitely an altered card in Alchemy. Uh, ETB, get two, two, two green cat creature tokens, and then we can crew it for four, and then we make tokens... We get to make copies of tokens that we can control and attack for four. It's amazing. We have Solitude in the deck. Not a not a cat, but it is an elemental, which is still all okay with Kahira. Kahira is totally fine with the elementals. Uh, we've got Bronze Hide Lion. It's just a random three drop. I'm sorry, a random two drop that that has uh, three power, three toughness. Can gain indestructible until end of turn. Not that impressive. It, when it dies, it becomes an aura that can go on another creature and give it protection. Give it the it becomes an aura to give it the ability. Pay a green and a white to give it indestructible until end of turn. Uh, what else do we have in this deck? Endurance for the graveyard matchups. It's also just a decent card. Again, working with Kahira, and that's about it. It's a sweet deck. It's pretty sweet. I'm hoping for good things out of this thing. We've got we got the one drops, and we go into the we go big here with the Seekus Chariot. I love it. And with that, let's get into our modern. Modern match. All right, we're gonna reveal our Kahira. Uh, our hand is a bit awkward, but I'll keep it. We're on the draw. I mean, we got Utopia. We can't like pass up on a Utopia Sprawl hand, but I'll definitely get like turn one uh, Temple Garden, Utopia Sprawl, and then follow it up with like probably probably fill it our Cub. And as we get into this game, we're going to thank our sponsors, FusionGamingOnline.com. My opponent's like, not Mer this that's not Merfolk. No, it's not. Not at all. FusionGamingOnline.com, uh, your essential place to get your singles, sealed, bo sealed products. What else? Deck boxes, sleeves, binders. That's where I get all my stuff from for eternity. Oh, God. Okay, I thought it was going to be Spell Pierce here. Uh, support the channel uh, sup uh, by purchasing from FusionGamingOnline.com with coupon code Nikachu at checkout for 5% off all your purchases. All right, what, what do we need? White or green here? I guess that's a toss-up, so I'll just go with... Actually, maybe I'll go with white. We have some cheap spells that are white. And we're also going to thank Mana Traders, the premier place to rent magic cards online. And if you just want to have some fun and play with cats in modern like I'm doing right now, why not try it out? Because you're just renting it with Mana Traders. Uh, you can support the channel, use my Mana Traders link in the description below, or save 10% off your first two months using coupon code Nikachu underscore WBN. Okay, we got, we got Temple Garden. We're ready to ambush something. 
May the ambushing begin. Magic Aids would be very excited right now. I can play both of them. Block! Double block just in case. Surprise! It dead. Uh, dash. <laughs> Uh, actually, it's it, it is in my best interest to play this Utopia Sprawl because then I can play Utopia Sprawl and uh, the Loam Line in one turn. So let's get some green, and I'll get another I don't know white mana out of this, I guess. Play Loam Line and attack for four. The franchise says, when I was in Colombia, hippos are so deadly because people always think that hippos are too slow to do any harm. No way. They're going to get you. Don't underestimate the hippo. What's this about? Three? Oh, they got snow mana in this deck. What's that for? Really tense. What is this? Oh, Murktide region, of course. Okay. But just a 3 3, a lonely 3 3, and we've got a King of the Pride. Oh my god, we're about to smack. We're gonna lay the smack down with this King of the Pride. Ah, oh, damn. Too late. The Pride. Alright, this is 12 damage. In fact, actually, they, can't, they have to chump block here. I mean, they don't have to chump block, but I mean. Let's keep their head above water, they should jump block. That was just a 3-3 Murktide. Well, you didn't want to take the... They must have accidentally left the Consider in there. Alright, it'll be uh, cracking Horizon Land on the main phase. Into failure. Alright, so that worked great. Now, do we want Veil of Summer? Maybe, maybe not, because the main removal spell is Unholy Heat and Lightning Bolt. And that does not protect us from those things. They do have a good chunk of counter spells, though. Choke! Oh my god. It could be over on turn two. Uh, Chalice of the Void on one. It could be worth it. Rest in Peace is actually okay. Unless they're playing with the Shredder. I'll play with a Rest in Peace. One of One King. Enjoyed watching your broadcast today, Nikachu. Have a great day. You too. I'll have a great rest of my day. We're going to keep Solitude in the deck for sure. I guess we have to get rid of some clunky cards. I'll get rid of... Asika's Chariot seems a bit clunky. I sort of want to bring the Chalice in, but I also need to cast my Loam Lion. Well, Loam Lion could get cast off of Cavern. Also, maybe we could find it off of Collected Company. Okay, I'll, I'll bring in two Chalice. Small Nambo, but pretty car pretty powerful card. Uh, we got the Choke, but we have no land. Mulligan. We have two Ambushers in this hand, so I'm going to keep it and pray. Uh, I'll get rid of a Bronze hide? Do they have enchantments to destroy? I guess not. We'll get rid of the Felidar Cub then. This is just a slightly larger creature. Oh, we have to hope to draw land. There's the Ragavan. We're gonna have two removal spells for both Kasali Pride Ma Kasali Ambushers. They ambush. got a land that's good enough okay pass the turn setting up the trap man this ambusher it ain't bad uh, 
I'm sure they're nervous. I mean, they they didn't. It's not like they slam dunk sent in that Ragavan. It was not a slam dunk decision. Yeah, don't underestimate cats. This king of the pride is great. Okay, they're considering. They're looking for an answer. Truth be told, they knew it. They need a few of them. Again, the double ambush <laughs> versus the Ragavan. Yeah, unholy heat for only two damage. Okay, so there we did a little two for one. Uh, we got a little two for one action here. Usually that's the opposite way around with these Ragavans. They're set up for a pretty good Murktide, though. Or are they? I could wipe their graveyard, but I lose two cards out of it. I think I would rather that they just have a Murktide on the board. I'm going to slam this Chalice. I'll get a Plains. And they opt to do nothing. I think I'll attack for two, upkeep, endurance them. So that if they have counter spell, um, they've got to burn it on their upkeep. I don't know if they have counter spell in their deck still, post board, but probably. I, there's not a whole lot of things I, I can play around right now. What is this? Draw two cards. Okay, that's fine. And now we'll play Endurance. Wipe out that graveyard. The cats and the elementals. Teaming up. Finally. Nature is healing. Uh, I might as well just stuff a uh, King of the Pride down here. The upside to it resolving is enormous. Yeah, that's going to get countered. But maybe that was part of the plan. Got to build that Murktide somehow. Attack for seven. Can there be two kings? Shouldn't this be legendary? If you're the king, then how are you also the king? Also, if you're really a king, where's your crown? You call yourself a king? Ooh, so what is this going to do? Th can do one and three and kill everything? Not bad. Anthony, we are attacking with cats in modern. That's our jam today. All right, the cats are gone. The cats are dead. Is there a Murktide in there? No. There's a Ragavan though. Attack for three, play Bronze Hide Lion with the indestructible claws up.
Yeah, there's no... There was Brimaz in this deck, and I think I removed it for Endurance, because Brimaz doesn't have any, like, useful ETBs. And the only reason this thing is, like, in, still in the deck is because it has a low curve. You need to have some cheaper stuff in this deck. All right, we completely eradicated, destroyed the, like, Murktide. That's the best deck in the format. All right, so Julian Cardona is 2-0 on Paywall Decklist Review. First time was with that Through the Breach Murktide deck, and now we beat the Murktide deck with actually cats. And the star of the show was this Kasali Ambusher, just completely blowing them out. Especially when they thought I was tapped out. That's the beauty. They thought we were tapped out. They went in with that Ragavan with the dash, and then... Well, we had a dash of our own. Play it for, at instant speed, two of them. It was just a complete nightmare. And the King of the Pride was good. And also, hey, combining it with Endurance is good as well. Too bad we didn't see a little bit of play out of Vesika's Chariot. I think this is very flavorful for the deck as well. Cad's deck with its own vehicle. That's how it rides, in the in the Chariot. Asika's Chariot. All right, thanks very much for everyone for watching. You love this type of matchup? Give that thumbs up for Cats. Congratulations to Julian Cardona, and I'll see you guys in the next match.